What's up YouTube, it's Abyssin Vapor back again for another review. Today's review is on the DX200, DNA200 version 2 by Hudson. So the DX200 version 2 was sent to me from Hutzig for the purpose of this review. It's not going to change my opinion of this box mod. Came out with the version 1, which I have as well. This one, okay? Now, there's a difference between the version 1 and the version 2. The main difference, the only difference, is the buttons. Okay, you see how this is the version 1, that's the version 2. This one had stainless steel buttons on it. And this one has like black buttons and the button on this one is a lot better than this one I cannot use this one anymore because the the fire button sticks it's sticky it gets stuck and then it will just auto fire the button won't come out and it will just continue to fire and it's scary as well as what they changed was the coating on this one would chip off as you can see a bunch of chips coating is uh, a little better it doesn't uh, chip off so this has the evolve DNA 200 chip in it from evolve I'm not gonna go into the settings I'm not gonna go about through the chip I did a review it's gonna be in the cards or it's on my channel of the version one I did uh, initial thoughts and I went through the evolve software and the whole thing and I also did another review on this where I went through the menu system all right so I'm not gonna go through the menu system on this I'm going to talk about it and give you the specifications a little bit about it. And uh, we're going to dive down and take a look at it. Then when I come back up, I'll give you my pros and cons, final thoughts on it. And that's what we're going to do. 1 to 200 watts. Okay, it does uh, temp control from 2 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It has an OLED display on it. It has a 900 ma 11.1 volt 3 cell LiPo battery that is able to be taken off like so okay uh, it goes super low as well i have a 0.08 ohm build on the griffin rta right now now it says the resistance goes 0.1 the canthal wire it says 0.2 but i got canthal on this now and i have it at 0.08 all right so you can't go lower than the specified uh ohm resistance input voltage is 9 volts and it goes 12.6 volts the input current is 0.5 amps and the typical is 9 amps and it goes up to 23 amps it's 97 percent efficient you can also get additional um lipo batteries for it or you can get additional casing where you can put two 18650s in it but it's only going to go up to 133 watts you're not going to get the full 200 watts on two 18650s and i also think you can buy additional bigger lipo batteries like a 1300 or 1400 ma for this it comes out a little bit more but i like how it has different options i like how you can buy different lipo batteries for it now the price point to get additional lipo batteries i'm pretty damn sure it's around 45 to 50 dollars for an additional lipo battery now back in the day when they first came out with them uh i think it was gear best or angel sigs or somebody had them for 25 dollars this is old. This is like not brand new. You know what I mean? I'm late to the game on reviewing it, but I'm reviewing it anyways. So they had it for, out for $25 and then they immediately changed it to $45, $50. So $25 for a LiPo I think was a great idea, especially um, LiPos aren't expensive and it's only a 900 mile LiPo. So I didn't like when they put it up to $45, $50. I wouldn't buy... Uh, one of these light bulbs for fifty dollars. It's only fucking nine hundred ma, and light bulbs are like six bucks online. But without further ado, guys, let's dive down. Let's take a look at this bad boy very quickly. We'll come back up. I'll see y'all in a minute. So this is the box that is going to come in. All right, nice box. Typical, typical box. All right, it's going to come with a nice bag. All right. You're going to get a nice, U a, a better USB um, cord to charge it with and to do your your software. I like that they changed the cord. It's about a four footer. It's about four feet. Your box mod will uh, be in there. Okay. Manual. Okay. Description. It's 90 millimeters in length, 52 millimeters in width. 
and 26 millimeters in height, 230 grams in weight. You're also going to get this charger, all right? This is a better charger than the Hot Fire charger that came with the version 1. It's going to have uh, three cells light green when it's fully charged and the light red when they're not. It charges pretty fast. You're going to have that additional uh, connection to connect on it. All right, it connects into the wall. I use it. It, it definitely works well. Here is the version 2. Here is the outside. It's going to say hot sig on it. It's going to say DX200 on the side. All right. It's a nice screen on it. No issues with the screen. The wattage up, wattage down buttons. Okay, the, the firmware update and to charge it is right here. Or you can charge, take it off and charge it on the bay. Okay. Buttons are better on this. Buttons are definitely better. The 510 is the same. It's the same 510. Buttons are definitely different. I liked these buttons, but it didn't work well. That's what the back, the back, see how it got all messed up like that? I would hope that it won't happen on the version 2, but I can't fully say, man. So it's going to say, you know, 900 ma, 10 watt hours, dimensions, discharge, all right, max burst, have your magnets up top. See how that, see how that looks? All right, that's how it can look over time. So I don't really like that either, um, but I can use this. I have two LiPos now, which is cool. See how that white kind of dimmed out? That's what it looks like brand new, pretty much brand new, okay? You wanna be careful when you do the battery like that because that will get loose over time. It well, it could get a little loose over time. It has a hole on the bottom for venting. It's very nice. It's hot sig. I had that made. Okay. Definitely a nice spring on it. All right. I like the 510 on this. No issues with it. That will sit flush with 22 millimeter in diameter. You can't put 25 on it. Like I have this Supreme by uh, Aroma Miser by Steam Crave. It's 25 millimeters. And I can't put it on there. It doesn't sit. It doesn't overhang. All right, it barely makes it, but it does. That is next to the Vape Forward Classic box mod. That is next to the RX200 by Wismac and j -Bo. And that's the close-up, guys. I feel perfectly comfortable backing out vaping on this bad boy, talking on it, pros and cons. I'll see you guys pros in a minute. Pros and cons on this bad boy. Well, the Evolve DNA200 chip is stellar. It's superb. It's my favorite chip of all chips, hands down. I haven't tried the uh, SX... 350J chip, so I can't compare it to that chip, but every other chip besides the IPv5 chip, this is my favorite chip, hands down. It's customizable. Uh, the, the wattage uh, is very, it's true wattage. It's accurate. The temperature is accurate. Trying to figure out how to get stainless steel on this. I'm really having a tough time figuring that out. You can do hybrid coils. You can do like nickel and canthol and titanium and canthol like hybrid type of builds. I'm pretty damn sure you can do stainless steel on it as well. I just haven't really figured it out yet how to use it with temperature control with the stainless steel. You can use stainless steel in regular wattage mode, but I'm trying to figure out how to use it in temperature control mode on the Evolve DNA 200 chip specifically, okay? But you you are able to do it. Um, now, I like how they fix the buttons on this, okay? The buttons are definitely, I can tell they're better on this than the version one. The screen's nice. Um, I love the screen on this thing. It's great. The chip is great. I love the chip. The buttons are very responsive, wattage up, wattage down. Um, 900 ma is not a lot of ma, guys. Um, this thing goes through battery life very, very fast. But I like how they let you uh, buy additional LiPos for this um, in a bigger LiPo capacity for this. But there is a trick that you can do to trick this to give you more uh, milliamp hours or um, wattage hours. Whatever the fuck it's called, man. I get it confused. Um, if you go into the Evolve software and you go to the 10 uh, watt hour, uh, there's a setting where you can change the watt hours on it. If you change it from 10 to 14.1, you get roughly around 1400 ma on this LiPo battery for this device. This thing is very accurate in temperature control. It's very accurate in wattage as what your wattage is and what you have it on. It's very accurate to 
if you have it on 75 watts, you're going to get 75 watts. If you have it on 200 watts, you're going to get 200 watts. You're probably going to get about maybe 20 minutes of battery life, but it will do it. I love the 510 on this. I haven't had any issues with the 510s on either of these box mods. So I love their 510. Everything sits flush. There's no lean. That's an OCD thing for me. If it has a lean, that shit pisses me the fuck off. So this one definitely doesn't have it. Definitely be careful about taking this battery out and putting it back in. Um, you don't want to like get this loose. You don't want to mess it up. So you want to put the bottom in first and then pop it in. This is one of the best vaping experiences I've had. I love my DNA 200 box mods. Um, I just wish it had more battery life. That's a huge con. Huge con is the 900 mile, but they make up for it when you can buy additionals. This is very small. It fits very compact in the hand. You gotta look out for the magnets. I hope the magnets on this didn't last. On the version two, I hope they fixed it, but I can't tell you yet. If they do pop out, I'll 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 mention it in another review. I'll just comment uh, about how the longevity of this box mod has been uh, handling it, or working efficiently, or staying uh, together intact. I definitely recommend this box mod, guys. It's a great box mod, man. Uh, a lot of people are starting to copy Hutsig because of the innovation they did with buying additional lipos and taking it off and on. You can't get a better chip than this chip. You just can't. You can find this box mod at www.hutsig.net. Link on screen and description. $150 to $170 for a DNA 200 authentic box mod where the chip is $80 on its own. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, leave a like, share, comment down below if you have any questions or concerns. And remember, squad, smoking is gone, vaping is on. Vape on. Stay juiced up. Deuce.